Hi, are you wondering what the benefits of a national insurance number are? Or are you considering getting a national insurance number but aren't sure why you need one? Then you need to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the five reasons why you need a national insurance number in 2021. Be strong. Be strong. Hello and welcome to The Nimble Nomad. My name is Arjun and on this channel, we talk about the tips, tricks and hacks to survive and thrive in the UK. In this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about the national insurance number and the five reasons why you need to get a national insurance number in 2021. So I made a couple of videos uh, a couple of months ago about the national insurance number and how you can apply for a national insurance number. But I know a lot of people uh, since the start of the pandemic have been struggling to get a national insurance number. So I thought about, you know, why do you actually need a national insurance number? Because a lot of people probably are confused with, you know, what are the other benefits of having a national insurance number? So I thought I would run through the five things that are really, really important uh, that you can access through having a national insurance number. Now, keep in mind that some of you may find these items basic, but it's quite useful to know what are the other things that you can do with a national insurance number. Okay, so the first one is uh, employment and tax, and I'm sure everybody knows about this, but what you may not know is that basically the national insurance number not only records uh, you know, how much tax you actually pay uh, to the HMRC, which is the tax governing body in the UK, but it also is used to decide what is the tax code that you are allocated, which is basically the tax bracket uh, under which you will be paying uh, the amount of tax that you owe to the government. Now, if you don't have a national insurance number, what can happen is you may end up paying too little or too much uh, tax. And in this scenario, especially if you're paying too little, you may end up with a massive tax bill that suddenly lands on your table, uh, especially if you're either self-employed or you have multiple part-time jobs. And usually the HMRC wants the tax paid is as soon as possible. So it's really important that you get one. Now, the other thing that can happen is if you don't have a national insurance number and you are working, uh, what can happen is you may be under a emergency tax code. Now, an emergency tax code basically means that you're paying more tax than you're actually required to. Basically, you have a personal allowance which gives you a certain amount on your income which is tax free but you might be paying tax even on that personal allowance as well so it's really important to check whether what what kind of tax code you're on and how much you're paying and you can't do that without a national insurance number so this is by far the most important reason why you should get a national insurance number okay so point number two is you if you want to drive in the UK, you need a provisional driving license. And guess what? In order to get a provisional driving license, which is the learner's license or you know the, the license that you get in order to learn how to drive, you need a national insurance number. So the way it works is you have to apply for a provisional driving license uh, with the DVLA, which is the driving authority in the UK. And in order to do that, as part of the application form with the documents that you provide, one of the main things that you must provide is your national insurance number. So if you don't have a national insurance number, you won't actually be able to get this provisional driving license. So this is, again, another important factor, especially if you need to drive or if you need to get a driving license in the UK, then again, a national insurance number is very important. So number three is um, setting up and managing your online tax account. So basically HMRC has a service which is an online service 
whereby you can log in and set up an online account which allows you to see your tax code which is what i was talking about earlier so how much tax you are required to pay under the tax code what are your personal allowances how much tax have you paid thus far what is your income so on and so forth now if you don't actually have a national insurance number you won't actually be able to set up this online tax account and be able to view and access all of these things. The main advantage with this online tax account is that if you do ha have access to it, if for some reason your employment circumstances have changed during 2020, you can actually go and update those directly through this online uh, account. You don't have to be on the phone with the HMRC and so on and so forth. Uh, there's a lot of other benefits as well, such as being able to view your pensions and so on and so forth, but I'll get into those in a second. But this is really a real big value add of having a national insurance number. Okay, point number four is uh, setting up an ISA. So uh, if you want to uh, save money in a tax sheltered account, which is called an individual savings account uh, in the UK, then uh, you need a national insurance number. Now, ISAs are really, really beneficial because one, you can uh, you get a twenty thousand uh, pound tax uh, sheltered allowance for you to save money. So any money that you put into these uh, ISA accounts every year and gain any interest or earnings through investments through these ISA accounts is completely tax free. So if you don't have a national insurance number, you can't actually do that. Now, the other thing is ISAs are not only for saving, but also for investing. And I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel, but if you want to set up a stocks and shares ISA, again, you need a, um, a national insurance number in order to do that. So it's really important that you consider that you get a national insurance number if you want to actively invest and save money through a ISA. Okay, number five, and this is what I was talking about on the online tax account, is being able to access and view your pension. So if you have a national insurance number, you obviously get access to that online tax account. But through that, you can also view and access how much pension you can expect when you retire. So there's two things you can do. One is you can see the point at which you will be eligible for your pension. So what age is it that you will be eligible? This is dependent on your birth date and your working history. And then the second thing is how much pension you will be eligible for and whether you are eligible for the pension. So the HMRC is able to track online and show you the record of how much tax you've paid up until this point by your employment history and therefore what is the uh, maximum or minimum amount of pension that you will be eligible for on the basis of the tax that you've paid. So this is again a real big advantage because it can help you plan for your retirement and you know your financial future if you are thinking about this long term. So that's it guys, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, I hope this has helped you out. Um, it's a very quick and short video that I wanted to do just before the end of this year. Uh, 2020 has been a fantastic year for this channel. I really appreciate all the support and encouragement that I've received through the comments, likes and views, and of course the subscriptions as well. I really hope to see more of you guys subscribing and liking the channel uh, videos in 2021. So happy new year and I shall see you on the other side in 2021. Thanks very much and goodbye.